so check this out traditionally pretty much the market has been like this intel nvidia and then amd with amd constantly competing against both these guys in a just raging battle that's become bigger and bigger and bigger over the years now a long time ago amd was just a company that made cpus when they made cpus they always had to contend with the giant intel and another thing you know intel inside that particular little logo um, has really put the mindset of people that intel is what belongs inside of their computer for the most part it's really a mind thing but today's video i want to ask you guys kind of a different question so we all know that you know these guys have been competing and i'll continue along as like ATI was gobbled up. For you old time techers out there, you know what I'm talking about. ATI was a great company. I always liked their video cards. I was actually more of a fan of ATI than I was of NVIDIA until um, AMD bought them out and changed things around. Now, when they bought ATI, that's when they actually became a competitor against two different companies. They became a competitor not only against Intel, but they've also become a competitor against NVIDIA. And probably for most people, you know this, it's old hat. Now, one of the biggest problems that AMD is having is the fact that they don't have the R&D budget to go and compete with both of these fronts. And yet they keep trying and it's very hard for them. But I want to pose a question for you guys. What if AMD wasn't the underdog? What if AMD was the number one company. Let's just say AMD was number one. They ruled the entire market. They had the fastest, best video cards. And by the way here, we're not talking about pricing because let me tell you something. If AMD had the absolute fastest video cards and the absolute fastest CPUs, I'm gonna say that just like any corporation, they're gonna be asking superior pricing. So if AMD was number one in the market and they had the best of everything and all their prices were really high. Let's just say that the AMD, we'll just make up a card, the made up 900. And the made up 900 was the absolute best video card on the market by AMD. But they were charging an extraordinary price for this. Would you guys be like, oh my God, AMD's the bad guy. Would you guys be like, AMD, like mind the sheep and just be like, I buy AMD only. Because I've been thinking about this quite a lot lately. Because we all know that giant corporations, I've talked about this a lot of times on the channel, that giant corporations are just inherently evil. They are. They're out to make money and they don't give a crap about anything else. They don't care about your feelings. They don't care if they hurt you. They don't care if they rob you. They don't care if they take your money. They have a board of directors who are saying, hey, make us money make us money, make us money. And they don't give a crap about anything else. So my big question to you guys, I'd love to hear you guys' comments down below, is if AMD was the number one company, do you think that they're going to stay the way they are now and always offer, trying to offer lower and lower and lower and lower prices and be like, let's hug the market, you know what I mean? And even though AMD has become more competitive and we may see in 2019 that these guys even make another jump. I don't think in 2019 they're going to make the jump over both Intel and AMD. There's just no way you're going to be able to take your checker and hop two companies with the budget they have. So that's probably just not going to happen. But if by some miracle, I think that if AMD became the number one company in the world when they had the best of everything, that they'd be just like Intel and Nvidia. They'd be doing everything in their power to secure the market any way they could. Because let's just face it, like I said, a corporation's out to make money. And if you're not making money, that means you're going downhill. Because there's either two ways. You're either progressing, you're stagnant, or you're going backwards. Stagnant and backwards sucks. So they're going to have to go forward. So if AMD was the number one big bad boy on the block and they could charge for their makeup 900 car, whatever the heck they wanted, because as a gamer, you're going to pay for the absolute best. 
wouldn't that really just kind of make them the same as everybody else? And this is what I'm just really wondering that's going to happen. If in the future, if someday, if AMD actually becomes and beats all these companies and becomes number one in everything, are they going to be like the gracious company that everybody's saying, yeah, AMD has the greatest prices. They're user friendly. These are the really nice guys because it seems to me like a lot of the people out there that are strictly AMD fans, it seems to me like they kind of feel like AMD's like Robin Hood. You know what I mean? Like AMD can do no wrong. AMD is this, AMD is that. I'm gonna tell you guys, AMD's a corporation just like anybody else. And, and probably they may not do the most, you know, nastiest stuff on the playboard, you know, cause you know, there's different kinds of people who play chess, who play cards, whatever. Everybody plays their game a little different. So maybe Nvidia right now, you know, maybe they're not, you know, the Western style card cheater that some of the other guys might be, but there's no way even now that they're perfect. And that's kind of what trips me out a little bit too, is that people kind of treat that as like, hey, you know, these guys are way better than everybody else. And you know what? I, I like AMD. I think they're great. Their products have been getting better over the last few years. They've always had really good pricing. They have a definite place on the market. But if they were number one and things are reversed and they weren't you know, the underdog, like they've been forever fighting to get up. I honestly feel like they'd be the same as every other corporation out there. Now, time will tell if that happens. You know what I mean? But unfortunately for AMD, they're not only fighting, just having a better product. I know that you're thinking, wow, you know, AMD can come up with this make believe 900 card. and They're automatically going to take the mark. I'm going to tell you right now, even if tomorrow Navi launches their new CPUs launch, and their products actually are completely better than Intel and Nvidia. Unless they can get the rest of the world market to wrap their heads around this, it's not gonna really matter. It will take them at least a few years of doing this. So here's the thing. Tomorrow, AMD becomes number one in everything for that moment in time, boom. Intel, Nvidia, they become the underdogs, you know? Um, it might shake the market up a little bit, but people aren't going to recognize AMD's name as a household name as much as they do. And it will take them a few years to do that. So unless AMD can maintain the lead that they get, you know, get in the lead and maintain it for a long time, it will really be hard for them to even get to the level of Intel and Nvidia. Even if they make, I'm telling you right now, the absolute best products in the world, across the board, best video cards, best CPUs, guess what? At least for a few years, Intel and Nvidia will keep winning only because of the fact that they have the name brand. Like I said earlier in the video, Intel inside. A lot of times that I talk to anybody and they're not really computer savvy, the first thing they say to me is, oh, it's got Intel inside. First thing off, I don't even hear Nvidia. Nvidia is actually even not even know anywhere well even known as Intel. Intel is the most well-known company in the world when it comes to PC stuff, period. They make the CPUs, they're like Microsoft. Microsoft is famous for Windows, they're known for that, they're the biggest in the world. When you think of CPUs, most people, their first thought is, hey, Intel inside. And until AMD can get the rest of the world to wrap their mindset around the fact that, hey, it's AMD inside now, it won't even matter if they make the best products unless they can continually do so for a long period of time. Now, if AMD can actually jump up and they can maintain this distance of making better products than both Intel and Nvidia, and they do it for five years in a row, they will definitely dominate the market and they will be able to dictate and charge whatever they want, just like Nvidia and Intel are doing now. We all know Nvidia's prices are bloated as a mother fracker right now. No video card that you're playing games on should really be $1,300. I just, I mean, sure, it's cool technology for what it is, but I, Nobody out there that I know, unless they're really like serious and just have to have the absolute best to make a sacrifice, can afford stuff like that. So hopefully AMD will never go down the road like that where they're just like, hey, you know what? We can just charge you a bunch of money because we can. I hope they never do that. But if they become number one, what do you think? I mean, they are a corporation. Corporations are there to make money. Do you think that AMD will be the nicest person on the planet if they have a butt ton of shareholders saying, we need more money, because that's really what's going on. And that affects me and you lots of ways. Leave your comments. I always want to hear what you guys have to say. You know, today's video is pretty much what if AMD was number one? Would they be any different? 
let me know your thoughts. I'm Elric. You've been watching Tech of Tomorrow. If you like what you see on the channel, hey, please sub and turn on notifications so sometimes you can know I'm even making videos. So you let you guys know sometimes. We'll be back here for more Tech in the Channel. we got lots more things coming this week. So we'll see you back here on Tech of Tomorrow.